We find ourselves at the Coachman Apex Ultralight plant today. And one of the coolest things, I think, is something a lot of people don't even realize. You're like, oh yeah, here's the Apex plant, there's the sign. But the thing is, guys, it's not a sign. It's literally a sidewall. And this is what their Asdale work does for them. If you take a look at this, this is just literally an open, exposed, apex laminated sidewall that they just slapped some decals on and said, hey, good enough. And you know why it works? Because it's been here for years because of that Asdale stuff. Because it just keeps the water, the weather, out of that wall. Uh, you know, it is cold season here in the Midwest and it's about to be snowflake season very soon. And this sign sits here all day, every day. Rain, sun, wind, sleet, snow, and God knows whatever locusts and, and whatever gets thrown at this thing. And it just keeps on smiling. So as we go through, remember, this wall right here, that's the kind of protection you have wrapped around in every single Apex RV. The hood of this truck, however, <laughs> has not enjoyed the benefit of Asdell substrates. <laughs> So like almost any travel trailer, this all begins with just the bare chassis. They come in all stacked up. What you're seeing here is the fellows using that handy little crane thing there to be able to move them uh, around individually. Now if you notice, the jacks are actually already installed on that, and it's actually facing belly up right now. They're shipped belly up so that they're ready and in position to simply be able to attach you know, the axles, the tires, all the running gear. Uh, because it's much, much easier to do that from the top down than the bottom up. After the running gear is attached, you see how they start laying the groundwork of the wiring, but you can also see how the Darko material under the floor is actually laminated to the floor itself. It's a one-piece, uh, all-aluminum structured floor assembly. Uh, this is also where they start to install things like the holding tanks and pretty much everything from the floor down. Just like the Freedom Express sister to the Apex that we also have here at Halo RV, the slide mechanism comes pre-installed in the chassis because it actually comes from the same manufacturer. Now they do something different with their underbelly here. It's actually uh, slid in on top of the I-beam frame rail itself. It just makes it a little less gappy and it can't sag at the edges. And I also had a really great shot here to show you the all rubberized propane lines they use here as compared to common copper lines, which if you have uh, debris flinging from underneath, it can cause uh, potential defects and dings in those copper lines. Interestingly, the uh, Apex facility is going to be moving in the near future here, in about a year, and their cabinet shop is currently built on the same physical level as the RVs themselves, but it gave me a really easy opportunity to get up here and look at their uh, thermal foil countertops. It also gave me a great chance to get a, a nice look at all the pocket screwing that they put on their cabinets. It's actually a neat thing they do there, as opposed to um, stapling particle board, everything is actually screwed together. From there you start to notice how actually the walls go up inside the RV before the walls go up outside the RV. Camper construction is actually different from home construction in that way. Now, something that's kind of neat here, you never get to see the support that's under the shower pan. That's a thing I rarely get the chance to show. And being able to walk through these factories, it just kind of helps you understand the, the various different support systems in place here. And it, it's kind of funny, you know, you usually see, you know, like the, the exterior shell of a home go up first. When people see the walls go up first like this, it kind of throws them off. But I wanted to take an extra second to see that. You can actually start to see, like, the front pass-through storage of that trailer in front of us kind of taking shape. And then as soon as the skin goes up on the exterior walls, you're like, oh, holy cow. Yeah, now I see what you're doing. And I looked at this and went, wow, what a great shot at all the uh, aluminum structure on here. But... This is also a great chance to get to see the Asdell substrate below the fiberglass skin. It helps the Apex models stay uh, light and weight, and I swear it's one of the greatest longevity construction things on their uh, product. The roof here, though, you, uh, this is a one-piece laminated roof. Um, not entirely uncommon in the world of ultralights, but you can see how there's little channels where they run the wiring through, and it is vaulted, and you can see the thickness of that. Now, I want to point this out because... I want you to imagine holding a scalding hot cup of coffee in your hand. And you don't really feel any significant heat off that, do you? Well, now imagine there's a three to five inch coffee cup above your head. And that's what's helped keeping the sun out of the RV in an Apex RV. It does a very good job 
and uh, you might have noticed the air conditioning uh, channels actually are carved into the roof, but they still insulate them with separate what I call cereal box insulation ducts so that you don't have the potential of condensation buildup. Now the slide wall here, uh, not yet installed, but it gives you an idea of like the, the structure that goes into it and very much like a Freedom Express or really anything with a rack and pinion slide. You can see that six-way slide adjustment system and just like Freedom Express, Coachman uses that uh, plastic runaway runoff track so that if there is any water left on the slide when you run it in, it doesn't stand the chance of running into the RV, but it, it slopes down and it shunts it away. And you can see right there how they're using double wiper seals plus the bulb seal on the slide itself. So whenever the slide's open or closed, there's always three points of contact with the slide uh, to make sure water just doesn't get in the thing. Obviously, that's a bad idea. This is also an easy time to get to see how all of the wall, window, and baggage door cuts are all fully aluminum framed out in Apex models. There are actually plenty of windows that don't require framed out structures. Apex simply uses one that does. I don't know that one's necessarily better than the other, but Apex service records certainly show that what they're doing definitely works. And how about a good look at the nose cap here off that Summit package before it's applied. You get to see here how all of the roof insulation is hand tucked and hand glued in place so that there's no insulation gaps in that area. And here's a look at the exact same trailer just a few minutes later once the nose cap was applied. And I noticed something really interesting. You see those accent lights on both sides of the windshield, how they're already lit up. And you can see how the guy's got the little spray bottle here around the slides. He's not cleaning something. He's actually checking for little leaks. He's making sure that there's not um, excess materials causing any sort of, you know, air gaps anywhere. And the active quality control on this line was really impressive. And once the walls go up, everything else comes together pretty quickly, like the furniture gets put in place and everything shines up. They go through and do a final inspection and cleaning inside. And man, does that Summit package look good on this thing. And once again, I've been very happy with the service records we've had out of Apex models. And this video is here to give you a decent idea. If you have questions, give us a call. And God forbid, you know, if you like what you see here, give our team here at Halo RV a call and we can make one of these things happen. We don't do hidden dealer fees. We can deliver the RV to your front door. So it does not matter where you live, guys. We are always ready, able, and willing to take care of you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.